Hi there, my name is Mini Bura and welcome back to my channel. It has been a few months, so what we're doing today is we're working on some of my portfolio pieces because I have to have 11 more pieces done for October 1st. So we're gonna work on that. Also, I, I guess face reveal, I haven't shown my face fully on the channel yet, so here's the fucking face. Um, I forgot why I just reached over there, but I just remembered why. So what we're doing with this is a few months ago, actually quite, quite a few months ago, I made two different pomegranate drawings in my sketchbook. I made this one, which is absolutely adorable. And I made this one, which is hectic, and I love it. So, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take that and we're gonna combine these two. Cause, although I love how chaotic and messy this one is, I hate how non-pomegranate like it actually is. So we're gonna be transforming this. And we're gonna be using acrylic paint. I don't know what else to say. We're, we're just gonna fucking draw, I guess. I apologize for any weird angles. This is my first time attempting to record from the other side of my bedroom. Um, so yeah, I apologize if this is a bit awkward, but we're just gonna rock and roll with it. Try our best, do what we can. And yeah, just go fucking ham, I guess. Right before deciding to record this, I had set everything up and I'm like, I should make a video. I haven't done that in a while. Because the other day I was talking with one of my friends and she's like, yeah, your videos, where the fuck are they? So shout out to Hillary. Fucking love you. Reminding me that I actually have a channel. Also, this might motivate me to work on my portfolio. Because I will admit, I got a little bit distracted there for a while. I was making a blanket for my best friend. Because she's going back to college very soon. And I just want her to have a nice study or party blanket. Which I actually will be giving her later tonight. Um, at least later tonight when I'm recording this. I don't think I'll be able to finish this piece in one day and i only have like two and a half hours to do this so sorry my paint is clogged also this is the paint we like to use because it is good it's smooth i enjoy it oh wow well. hmm. And we have the beautiful paint palette, which I don't know if I've actually ever shown this. I'm sorry for w any weird voice inclinations. I kind of forgot how to talk. Oh, sorry, I just showed you guys my gum. I'm sorry. But there we go. This is the paint palette. It's literally just a wooden circle that's supposed to be painted on. But I'm like, no, you're my paint palette. I also have one for oil paint. It's on my bookshelf. Because I got them in pack of three, and this is the third one. Because this one I'm actually going to paint on. Because that's what I intended them for. But did I ever follow my intentions? No. Because I suck at that. Anyways, yeah. So we'll just block in the shape of the pomegranate. My favorite thing about pomegranates is they're literally just a stop sign. See, it's it's a stop sign. Just a wonky looking stop sign shape. There, blocking where the bite shape will be. 
because a big part of my portfolio is we have to put meaning behind every single piece we put in. So the meaning behind this one is because this town that I live in is predominantly Christian and it does heavily influence my day-to-day -day life, the fact that we're a Christian town. Um, it's the forbidden fruit. I don't like the idea of it being an apple. Christians eat apples all the time. They don't eat pomegranates all the time. So this is gonna be a pomegranate. Also, cause pomegranates are in a lot of different lores and mythologies. Biggest example I can think of is Persephone and Hades. So we're gonna make ourselves a beautiful pomegranate. And the messiness is just because, fuck it. I wanna have fun, okay? I have been putting off doing my portfolio pieces for months. I need to have some fun. Yeah, I have been meaning to make my portfolio pieces since last October. I've only done one. We have one. I don't even know where it is where, right now. I found it. I mean, if you guys want to see that one, just go watch my reel or short. I don't know, it's also on Instagram, so fuck. I don't know if I've ever linked my Instagram. I already know that most of my subscribers also have my Instagram because I know them in real life. At some point, I do need to just be like, this is my Instagram, follow me for art. But no, I ain't smart, so we're not doing that. But yes, we love golden acrylics. Also, um, don't use the red, blue, yellow base thing. This is an art tip I heard recently. Use the cyan magenta yellow because you get more rich colors and an actually decent purple. And you actually get a good black shade out of it. I apologize if you can hear me heavily breathing. I'm in a mood. When I get in a mood, I breathe heavily. But it's not a cleaning mood, so that's why we're painting. Start adding in some shading. Oh, my laundry's done. Yeah, part of why I'm filming this video is because I clean my room. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I actually have space to make a video. So I'm making a video because I have a good wingspan of floor space. Because other than that, there's a closet and there's a bed and a desk over here. I'm still in the renovation room. At some point, I'll make a short showing it off. It, it's not that cool. It's the, it's the lamest room I've been in. I was in one point just staying in my dad's bedroom. That was way cooler. At least that was fun. I will say, I've been in this room since my YouTube channel started uploading videos, okay? That's how long I've been in the bas this basement. I live in a basement because the rest of the house is in renovations and I cannot live in my freaking house. I don't have a kitchen. I don't know, I like to complain, it's fun. There will no longer be Tim Hortons jump scares, that's a lie. Whenever I post my next sketchbook tour, there will be a Tim Hortons jump scare because it's on the front cover. But other than that, there will no longer be them because I don't work there and I'm free and I'm so happy because I hated working there. I hated coming in every single day and just being yelled at for shit that was out of my control. Like, I don't care that there was a singular crumb on the sandwich station. Like, just clean it up. <laughs> don't yell at me. Things is fun. Zero out of ten, do not recommend working there unless you absolutely have to. They suck. Of course you don't realize how bad a job is until you get another job. So, 
that's why I realize it's a bad job because I have a new job so I'm actually free I work at a different donut shop now and it's so much cooler because they've recently done a complete overhaul on their staff like right before I got fired well hired frick <laughs> they did a complete overhaul on their staff fired a bunch of people so I've been told a few times that it's way better to work at now than it was a few months ago. What the fudge, man? There we go. Get out of the tube. My favorite thing about me is I have so many paint tubes and half of them look like this because I got them almost two or three years ago. I'm taking out the gum. Also, we have this. It's not a Stanley Cup. It's a 20 buck version. That's a lie, it was 30 bucks. I covered up the logo on it. I didn't like it, it was ugly. It's also just horrible, so it's gone. Where do I want the seat to be? On the back, I'm gonna put that to be down here. That's where the butt plug will be. So that's where I'm gonna draw the lines coming from. I'm not the greatest at painting pomegranates. However, I did do a massive study on them a few months ago. So now I kind of know how to paint pomegranates. I need to do another study on them. Also, if you ever need to wipe off your brushes, don't use your pants. Get a shitty old dish towel that you hate the touch of and don't feel bad about destroying. I apologize for the weird cutoffs. I think I need to film it differently because this is bad. This is so bad. It's fine. It's fine. I don't care. Could film it that way, but we won't because we don't care. Ooh, yep, we're bringing in primary cyan. Bringing in the blues because we need color variation. Yep, pretty much the only reason I'm filming this, I don't know if I already said this or not, is just to motivate me to actually do my freaking portfolio. I've been procrastinating it. I've also been procrastinating making videos. So it's like, hey, two blades with one stone. May as fucking well. See, this is where we're gonna start bringing in the crazy colors. Because if it works, it fucking works. Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful bun. It looks like shit, especially on camera. We're gonna make that less dramatic. Bring in some more of these. Highlights, yeah, that's what they're called. I don't really know what to talk to you guys about, so I guess we'll just do a mini life update. Um, broke up with my old boyfriend. Wasn't really a relationship. Both of us kind of considered it to be like two kindergartners being like, you're dating me now. Uh, talking to a new guy. Really like this guy. Hope he likes me back. Yep, trying to apply for colleges. So, working on that a lot, trying to clean my room, uh, trying to get my pro served so I can work at bars because I want to make good money. Like, currently I work minimum wage, but I get tips. I want to work 17 an hour and get tips, which most bars do. So I'm thinking of getting my pro serve and applying to my local bar because, heck yeah. A few nights ago, I made a joke that it was somebody I was going to go to the freaking bar anymore, and it's like, no. It's just walkable distance from my house. I want to start walking to work. I can't walk to my other job. It's a couple towns over. Well, no, it's just one town over. But it's like, I can't walk. I'd have to wake up at 5 a.m. for a 7 a.m. shift. But I ain't doing that. I wake up at 6 a.m. 
that's fine. Thank God the towns are so close together. Yep, we lost a bunch of friends and kept one friend that everyone else left for a guy who accused her of something horrible, but the dude has been accused of that same horrible thing multiple times. So it's like, okay, hypocrites, don't want to be friends with her because this dude accused her of it, but you'll be friends with the dude with multiple allegations. Okay, sure. Whatever. But that's okay, because we're hanging out with some of our old friends from high school. And they're actually really freaking cool now that they're not hanging around people that we hated. Yeah, so. Why am I over here? I should be... Maybe I should just... Yeah, there we go. Because I seem to be hovering over here a lot. Yeah, that's our mini life update. I was gonna film this video last week, but I got really horribly sunburned because I went boating with my dad's friend because he had won a competition for free boating. So I went with them, got really horribly sunburned on my cheeks and I got windburn on top of it. So I had like blisters on my face. My face is still kind of red. You just can't tell because I'm wearing a BB cream. Uh, but underneath it's like, Right here is really red, right there is really red, red, red. It's healed, it's just still red. I think it's partially scarring, but whatever. We rock and roll with life, that's what we do. Yep. We're finally priming the house for paint, so hopefully soon I'll be able to film a room tour in a different room. Like, I'm probably going to post a tour of this room just because it's technically an art studio right now. Because all I'm doing with my life really is trying to maintain a social life and working on my art school portfolio. Yeah. It's not going very well. <laughs> also, um, so not only are we using acrylic paint on this, we're also going to use some oil pastels when it's all dry because I got new oil pastels. Before this, I only had like a six pack of all metallic ones and I couldn't use them for anything. So today I picked up some just fabric castell oil pastels. If it works, it works. I will never use Artist Loft ever again. I, well, actually I'm currently using Artist Loft easel. It's good. Also, my desk is artist loft, but that's like the best products I have. Because, ugh, they're evil. Our products themselves, like art supplies, are just, I don't like them. I could go on a very long rant about those. But, we only have so much time in a video. I should probably paint this red. I don't really know how to make this look like it was bitten into. Kind of just looks like it was torn into, but whatever. As I keep saying, we're rocking and rolling with it. Which apparently seems to be my new thing to say, because every time I have something slightly difficult, I'm like, fuck it, we rock and roll. <laughs> but yeah. Yep, today we did a massive trip. Because that same girlfriend of mine, uh, yeah, because she's leaving for college soon, not only did I get her a blanket, I also decided her mom won't let her wear makeup. We're going to buy her makeup. So we bought her makeup. Bunch of the basic essentials, like mascara, eyeshadow, tinted lotion. If it works. She has pretty similar complexion to me, so it's like, okay, it will work. She's pale, so whatever. Anyways, I should really stop ranting about random things. 
Yeah, pretty much the painting technique we're using is called slap the paint on, move it around. I haven't gone to art school yet. Don't ask me the actual names of things. Ask me in like a year or two. Maybe then I'll know. But for now it's like, yeah, whatever. We're just moving the paint around. Actually, very fun thing, my stepsister is also going to college. I think it's either next week or the week after that she's leaving, but... So we went grocery shop, not grocery shopping, just like dorm room supply shopping. Went to Ikea. They have a massive sale going on, so not only did we buy her stuff, we also bought... I'd have a bed. It's not in here. It's out in the garage, in boxes. But yeah, she got a new drawer for underneath her desk because she really likes the one that she has at home. But the one she has at home is attached to her desk. So it's like, okay, I'll just take a, the same thing, but without the desk. Yeah, that was actually very fun to go on that trip with her. It wasn't just us, it was also my dad and my stepmom. Which was the night Calgary got incredible hail, like baseball sized, which we happened to be in the area it was happening to. Uh, we went because it started raining really hard in Airdrie and last time my dad's truck got written off, happened in Airdrie. So we headed south to try and escape it. And wound up on the airport trail trying to get to the tunnel. We did not make it fast enough. But that's okay, his windshield's already replaced. Thankfully, that was like the only big damage. Aside from that, he just has a ton of like little dents all over the front of his truck. Which sucks to see because it's the nice Ram. He has a good Dodge Ram 1500. Which he actually needs for his job. He's not just one of those people that are like, oh, I want a truck because I want a truck. No, he actually needs it for his job, which Slay King. Love it when people actually buy the car they need for their job. Which sounds a little odd because I have a minivan, but I got it for free. I got it for free, so I'm not really I'm just happy I got it for free. <laughs> but yeah. So that also happened recently. No, that's not what I want. Where is the paint I want? There you are. White. I use this a lot, so I also have one. <sighs> Once again. It's artist loft, but if I need to cover a big surface or something, it's cheap. And if you add enough layers, it works. So, I also have one in black, which is what I used for the background of this. It has the same amount of gloss as my other paints, so it actually blends in quite nicely. But for this, because we're using small space, big old tube. Actually, you'll notice on my palette, white is a color I use quite a bit. Sorry, my... I love life. Yeah, it's the most prevalent one, aside from red. I'm surprised I don't use that much green. Maybe it's a hug. Huh. There we go. Make it pink. Yeah, I wanted to do this on a live stream. Unfortunately, I can't do it on a live stream. 
I don't have 50 subscribers. I need 50 subscribers first, <laughs> so I guess you'll be getting more shorts or reels or what? I don't know what YouTube uses. I'll be getting more of those. Probably just mini drawing sessions. Maybe more regular updates because I just want to go live and draw on live. That would be so much fun. So what I'm doing may seem a little counterproductive considering I just put down a nice deep red. But the reason I put down the nice deep red is so it turns pink. Because it looks cooler when it's pink. Also, it's a little bit more natural when it's pink. And, yeah. Anyways, anyone buy the new Book of Bill? I bought it. It's so freaking awesome. I love it. Here's hoping season three, Gravity Falls, hopefully soon. Because we a nerd for that stuff. We are a nerd for that. We love the nerdy stuff. It's so much fun. Yeah, so hopefully you guys will be getting more uploads from me, um, especially in these next couple weeks. Because my goal for these next couple weeks is to get at least four finished drawings or paintings done. Because I really, really need to get on this shit because I've been pushing it off for so long. That, yeah. So, because this is two, so we have ten more. Ten more drawings I have to get done. Or paintings. Thank goodness I have a large variety of supplies. And if I ever do oil painting, we'll probably be upstairs in the renovation because I can't do it in my room. I can't open the window, and if I don't open the window, I will die. I apologize. I am just rambling today, but that's okay because I'm on a video, so it's a little weird to just stand here in silence and record yourself. So, I guess this is what we're doing now. Clean up some of these edges. And yeah, another thing I've been doing recently, I've hung out with my old co-workers, who I actually consider to be friends. Because they were the best part of that old job. And yeah, I enjoy hanging out with them. We're actually going to an escape room soon, so that will be extra, extra fun. I'm excited to see the one dude's reaction to what's happening, because I think we picked an escape room with a live actor. Because last time we went, we did the Jack the Ripper one, and they had a live actor in there. It was hilarious, so we're gonna- it's gonna be fun. Oh, no. I wish I had music, but it will get copyrighted, and my laptop's dead. Ain't that fun? Yeah, so for this painting, it's just going to be multimedia, because they require I use at least four different mediums in my portfolio. This is not going to be all four. This is not, no. I love acrylic, but it's not my main medium. 
I actually don't use acrylic that much, although my other portfolio piece I have done is acrylic. Now, my main medium, where is my bag? Is probably pencil, because I mean, that's what I do the most. This one I'm actually gonna make really big and do this on a, I have a cutout, but it's already arched because I've already said I've done like an art camp last summer. So I have a bunch of leftover really fancy paper from that. So what I'm gonna do is just use that in my portfolio because I have the nice supplies. I'm gonna use it. I don't know how long this recording session is gonna be. I don't think I'm gonna cut or edit this. But yeah, my main material is definitely pencil because that's mostly what's in here. I have a couple like Prismacolor colored pencils that are also in here, but it's all pencil. What was I looking for? Ah, my research on what I need to do. Yeah, 12 pieces, two to three mediums minimum, and I have to show range, which I think I'm doing because, sorry. <laughs> this is my last portfolio piece, which I'm actually currently working on editing a bit, but this is the last one, hyper-realism. Seriously, went into my bathroom, turned on my flash, and was like, that, that's what I did. And, I mean, this one's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty, pretty chaotic. So yeah, I have to show range. I have to show I'm able to work with different mediums. They have to be from the last two years, which sucks because it's been like two years since I graduated and a lot of my best works were from high school. Not really, because I kind of hate them all now, but no fan art or anime, which whatever. the fan art part, though. Yeah, I have to have one observational 11 finished artworks, which I have to show variety and range. And actually, my favorite thing is it says, or I can show pages from my sketchbook and only have to do 10 finished artworks plus the observational, which 12. Yeah, and I have to include an explanation for every single piece. So this one's literally just, I love myself. I like skull imagery. I'll probably have to put more thought behind that. This one's, I like pomegranates. And I love Bible lore. Boom, forbidden fruit. I was looking to start working on the background because it needs some work. Oh yeah, another thing we've been working on is my posture. It's not going very well. I'm trying to fix it, but... Mostly because all my paints are behind my thing, and right there is the leg, so I have to myself to try and get stuff. Oh my goodness gracious, what the fudge just happened? Ugh, my oh my.
This is my least favorite part about this easel. I love doing wraparound painting so like it goes over the edges of the sides. Can't do that here, can't do that here. So I have to rearrange my drawings to be able to do Oh my god, I look like my brother. Wow. Okay. <laughs> When I've done the main bulk of it, I'll probably go back and just adjust the sides a bit. Yeah, so the last time I tried to make a painting uh, was with oil paint, which I haven't worked it with since... Oh, I want to say grade 11, grade 12. So it was a little... I eventually gave up on that painting. Anyways, for this, we're going to call it done for now. Because I'm at 36 minutes and I'm not editing this. We're just posting it like this. Um, Yeah, I'm probably going to go on live on Instagram. Do some more shit with this. Yeah, so, next video I post about this, it'll look different. Probably not done still. Anyways, see ya.